I. Hey, oh, is, yeah, I'm back from my Arctic Sea voyage. Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Did you yeah. like? What do you do on those? No. So here's Arctic the here's the issue. I'm wearing this hat because look at this. This is just. It's just. It's. Oh, it's so like much. A, it was yeah, even worse. It was like before a shower. Standing I up, it was like a light socket. I put my finger in a light socket before. <laughs> so anyway, this it's is a hat day. That's it's fine. a hat day. I get it. I get it. No cool. bones day. No bones. Um, this is a, you know we've had automatic as a sponsor for a super long time on this show. So so this is going to be about a jetpack thing. But I'm doing it because like I use it on my site, and it's I think it's compelling and worth knowing about. So that's what this video is about. But you know, grain of salt that as you may. Our journalistic integrity is intact here. I think. Yeah. I'm going to show you my screen because I have a WordPress page open. This is all about WordPress stuff. So if you absolutely care less about WordPress, it's another reason this video is not for you. But there's there's some things that I just freaking love about my workflow of creating content and blogging in WordPress. Here's a, mm -hmm. an image, right? I just screenshotted it really from this, you know, Sunya Koide, uh, beautiful SVG animation thing, right? Cute. Oh, I'll take yeah. a cute screenshot. Cool. Now I have it and I'm, cause I'm going to write something about it and it's, uh, 147 K big. Cause all mm. I did was just command shift four blasted it, you know, and OS X could, or Mac OS could care less about how big that image is, you know? Yeah. It's usually in the mega tons. Yeah. It's, it's huge. Yeah. The only reason it's small is cause it by default, it, it shoots in PNG and this is a pretty PNG friendly image. But if it was, okay. man, if it was, if I screenshot your crazy hair, it really would be megabytes probably. Yeah. Um, all right, but so this is my blogging workflow. Blah, blah, blogging is cool. Oh, I want an image right here in my post. Burp, and I drag it in there, and now I have an image in my post. That's important to me as a content creator, that I can do that, and I'm authoring like kind of how it's going to look and all that. I can yeah. add a caption, blah, blah, blah. So save draft. This is my you know production website here, right? Mm -hmm. So then I'll, I'm going to- I will give you $5 to publish this. <laughs> I can't. This a, we're, too, we're too big of an operation these days. Oh, that was, man. I feel like my boss would get mad. $10. Uh, <laughs> Gonna up it, testing media handling in WordPress because it will automatically go to social media. It'll be a big kerfuffle, you know? Mm -hmm. But at least I can preview it, huh? Here, this is what this blog post is gonna look like. And we're talking about images, but our plan is to talk about video, by the way. So yeah. I'm just showing you how useful the oh, it, WordPress handling of images is. Yeah, I mean, look at all those sizes and source sets you did not have to care about. That's oh, yeah, I got lazy great. loading. It optimized the image. It put them on a CDN. It did my source set and sizes. Wow. And all I did was drag this garbagely huge image onto WordPress, right? That workflow, not only is just the UX of this workflow nice to me, but the obviously the output is super important to me, and I got it perfectly. Right? Can can you cool. uh, network panel and see how what came across? I'd be curious. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. So let's already kind of have it ready because I'm I'm looking for for space here with my IMG tag. It looks like the full size one came across, but how big is it? Forty one k out of from from, from whatever it was, one hundred something. Yeah. So not bad, you know. But it's uh, it's probably because I'm on a pretty yeah. high res screen and all that. If it was smaller, yeah. it probably would be a little better but it's you know it's coming across http2 now it's cached you know all the all the fancy yeah. stuff is happening that's a good plan here maybe it'd be even better if it was avif or all that but that's the kind of thing is like i don't have to code that stuff it's like someday jetpack will just do that for me upgrade, <laughs> and upgrade your life fine. yeah but that's images right so if i have a, a video too let me see. I think uh, rather than because it's like this video is something like 20 some megabytes big. I, again, I just I used clean shot X here, which is just an excellent thing here. And I just, you know, it's like, oh, I'll just record this part of the screen and blah, blah, blah. It's a really nice utility for that. I know everybody's got their favorite, but definitely clean shot X is the best one for life. Mm -hmm. Um I already recorded it, and it, and again, it doesn't care about how big things are. It mostly cares about quality. So here's a 22.3 megabyte image and like Your i said video, i already yeah. uploaded it so it's in my media library probably maybe even more than once here here's one select it's gonna bonk it in there and look it's just a video tag like I'm, i happen to be in chrome this is just what a video tag in html looks like mm -hmm. so again if i refresh then our preview and look at nice. our 
fifteen dollars to publish this. <laughs> it's, it's going up. It's going up. <laughs> Literally, it would it would sicken me to do it. Twenty dollars. <laughs> The output, <laughs> you're killing me here. Look at the source. Look at what it did for me. Nah, nothing, you know? Yeah. And it's no it's no dunk on WordPress or anything here. It's just, it doesn't help you with that. It's not mm -hmm. the same ball game. It's not as big of a problem on the web. But this is hitting my canonical website. Right. And, right? So, like, it did nothing. There's no optimization at all that's helping me here. And that's the deal with video press. Like, now that this is a it's a feature and you can buy it one off or whatever just if you want to know cost it's total it's not free it's a paid product from okay. automatic but um here where's the pricing on it's in here somewhere it's five dollars a month if you pay yearly so it's not the most expensive thing in the world and if it's the only thing that you want out of jetpack well then that's all you pay for right so i think that's kind of compelling yeah, I mean, and, and there's other services, Vimeo or whoever, uh, but you know they they absolutely like. I, it's even free. I, I've done right? so much to video, and I think getting into it, you don't realize what problems you're going to hit, um, hmm. because you just like, oh, I'll just upload a video to S3, and boom, four hundred dollars later. <laughs> you're crying, you know. You, yeah, you'll, you'll yeah, blow. S3's definitely not free. And, especially yeah, for bandwidth it's gonna hurt and so this yeah. is just i don't know there's so many things here like doing this like yeah you're not paying it... for bandwidth here but youtube and vimeo are free but they kind of imply that you like have a profile and an account and stuff and i and there's like a whole workflow for publishing and you're subject to all their special terms of service and stuff which are usually pretty fair and stuff but it's right, the, right. the implication is it's like your social video hub it's not just like put your eight second it's video not drag of, a video into yeah. the WordPress. Yeah, it's not that. It just doesn't feel like that to me. And yeah. workflow wise, it's a little more complicated too because then you you know you got to upload it to YouTube and got and then it. yeah because you upload an eleven second video, <laughs> looping GIF basically, and then yeah. everyone's gonna get that in there like. Yeah, feeds, Dave just you know? posted a video. I yeah. mean, you can leave it unlisted and stuff, but yeah, to me, but the, the workflow in, isn't as clear. Yeah, more. That's more. And we're obviously fans of, of YouTube. We post yeah. all our stuff on YouTube. It's not like our anti-YouTube here. I just mean for like WordPress publishing for workflow. For this sort of thing, it's outrageous. Yeah. 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 And okay. I use that video. To, I've used it for years. I Sometimes I just do nothing because you don't have to care about everything under the sun, you know. True, but true. check this out. The Jetpack, here's my Jetpack settings in WordPress. And I use Jetpack Search. And I use their Accelerator. And I use their Lazy Loading and all that stuff. All video press is now. It's just boop. Now okay. you have it. We're, that's it, right? And I, it's a paid thing, so but I pay for it. So rock and roll, right? Now I can refresh this page. And I have to refresh it because... You it know, loads a video bunch more press needs to and probably, so, yeah. I don't know who knows what it loads, but it works now, you know, and it just takes over the flow. I'll just hit restore because I think it was the deleting of that image. Now, if I upload this thing, and this is, might take a minute, so we might have to talk over it, but th it looks the same. Like the workflow is the same. Drag mm -hmm. your stupid movie onto your post. Mm -hmm. But now it's uploading it to my server. So I still get the canonical copy. So it's like, mm -hmm. you know, that's good, right? It's not. Yeah. But it also uploads to their servers as well. And then it goes under uh, optimization process. And then, it, and then it gets put into this player as um, like an iframe, like a kind of like, like Vimeo or, or like your own private be, YouTube almost like, like you're going to what's get, happening. It's taken over here. It's got to convert. Yeah. It's, it's your own private because it does like, it's that thing. It's like, um, you know, there's this thing in video adaptive bit rate. And I assume yeah. it kind of, is, that's what it's trying to do. It's like, basically like, Oh, if I can send you smaller chunks of a video, you, I'll just keep sending you chunks of video and you'll get it way faster and you can play it faster yeah. and everything. And right there, you're at like 224 P like it'll cut a, a 1080 if you can like, if you can wait, do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it'll, it'll like keep doing that over. Right. Yeah. So here's the, here's the thing. It's still just a video sitting mm -hmm. in the file, but it's got a big play button. I almost like prefer that UX wise to the, to the to HTML five video thing. Mm -hmm. Then you get a nice player. Now you can still have it loop. You can still have it do the stuff, but I have, um, a volume machine. I have a start over button. I have playback speed controls. I have, oh, there's the 1080p. It's done now. 
I have a, a picture in picture, mm -hmm. you know, a really nice you and, and then full screen. And this isn't like the most full featured thing in the entire universe, but it's better than the HTML5 player, I'd wager. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. which is nice. And then the performance of it is better because it's not hitting my servers to serve this video. It's hitting theirs. So it'll be faster and do all the fancy bitrate stuff and all that. And again, all I had to do was go merp and flip on this little thing, you know? But it's not like my servers don't get the video still. I still have it, which is also different than, than yeah. uh, vi uh, YouTube or Vimeo or whatever. Because if you decide like, oh, whatever, I can't afford $5 a month, I'm yeah, out. Yeah, it just reverts back to your own servers. You know? There you go. Fine. Well, this is uh, cool. I have but never I wanna... seen this. So, uh, like, this is nice. news to me. And and I do <laughs> I do the dumb way. <laughs> I do the upload, put a file in a videos directory, and then I, like. Yeah, just serve it yourself. And I, like, code the video element, you know, in my blog post. But Which this is, is fine, right? It's, it's just, it works. Workflow-wise, this is just as easy or easier and, and kind of ends easier. up better. Uh, I wanted to show this, though. This is one of my, like, you know, sleeper favorites of this. Is Another thing is when you make a video, to, and let's say this wasn't using VideoPress, but these settings are the same. In order to make a video tag show anything at all on mobile browsers, you have to select a poster image. Otherwise, it's just a blank nothing. Black box, right? Yeah. yeah. I and mean, I think that workflow-wise, that's a pain in the butt to have to make a poster for every single image that you do. That is a pain in the butt, yes. Because <laughs> I think it looks bad in RSS. It looks bad in, in on mobile and all that stuff. It's a, just a little unfortunate. And usually what I do is nothing. I just am like, whatever, you know, I can't. I, I just can't be troubled to make a poster right now. But I think now if you look at mobile with video press on there, you get the poster for free. It's wow. just a nicer, it's a nicer little experience here. Wow, see that's better already. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna show you what it looked like with just the video there, uh, but it kind of takes over. I'd have to turn off Jetpack and refresh and all that crap. But uh, yeah. believe me, this this wouldn't look like a nice video here. It would look like, not. it would literally look like white nothingness, which right. almost looks broken. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So once you're on video press, like it's all video press from there on out. Does it go through and no, fix up it your doesn't post or no. No, nothing like that? Okay. I, I actually don't know. It's, it hasn't on my site right now. So I don't know the answer to that. It would be kind of cool to, to fire that off. I, I don't know what the implications of it are necessarily. It, I would be, it would be nice to know. That'd be cool. Like video press take over all video on site. But yeah. I think that would require like some cron jobs and stuff because they, 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 they ultimately do have to go to, to their servers, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure it's set up for those kind of background jobs or you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It would, it would be a lot, but it's just like from here on out, you know? Well, and this is cool because there is this other thing, like you may not know about it, but, <laughs> but not all videos work on iPhone <laughs> too. And so, Having mm. like this pre-processing server, a media server in front of your videos is actually probably a best practice just because I, I can't tell you how many times I've just sent a looping GIF up to uh, like a crunch through handbrake or something and then it doesn't work. Yeah. And so. I'm quite sure we didn't even that like, great. Thanks. That's yet another reason you should do it. I think there's probably a feature list that's even longer <laughs> than um, than what I've shown here. I'm just showing you what's important to me as a, as a, my workflow kind of thing. But, I, you know, of course, because it's a paid product, I'm sure it's got a feature list a mile long that different things matter to different people. But you saw firsthand how easy it is. Well, and I, I like seeing the, uh, the magic behind CSS tricks here. So, and here's the attribute soup that we always make <gasps> fun of. Attribute soup. <laughs> Let's just try that. So if you get them all done, and I was thinking about the other day in the video, didn't you say like you were, you know, browsing the mobile web and a video auto played? And you're yeah, like, how did yeah. that happen? Yeah. And I, I was thinking like, what was it actually? But isn't it just, I think, if, you know, if JavaScript runs, it can force a play on a video. It's just so rare that. Yeah. It's well, and I, I think some places are intercepting a scroll event as an interaction and oh. thus triggering a JavaScript play. So. I bet. There you go. It worked. In this case, I'm not sure it like we. It's it's not as difficult. Oh wow! Did I nuke it out? Oh, did you? Uh, it's oh, playing. <laughs> but it maybe the attribute soup was was too much, or maybe the maybe muted killed it or something. Anyway, I know. yeah. 
um, um, that it, an iframe can do that stuff, I would think, without. It's, it's more interesting when it's the raw video tag. There it but, goes. Oh, yeah. He's back. You're back, buddy. So. Uh, anyway, thanks for thanks no. For, this is for great. With me, Dave. This is fun. I, it's always cool to see the behind the scenes how the how the sausage is made. Uh, Twenty five dollars. Yeah. Is that right? Fifty dollars to hit this blue button right here. Fifty bucks <laughs> is pretty juicy. Fifty dollars. I'd have to scramble right to to freaking to Twitter and unpress it and all that stuff. Fif- is this not so- fifty fifty one dollars? <laughs> <laughs> okay we'll oh keep negotiating God. all right thanks i know it would be I, I some part of me wants to to bow to your gnarly ass peer pressure one hundred dollars <laughs> it would be such a freaking mess that i'm just i don't have time today i gotta go pick up my daughter from school and i'm just not gonna 125 dollars <laughs> is the more i give you excuses the higher the number gets uh, we're right. talking four digits before I'm pressing that button. All right, man. One ninety nine dot ninety nine. That's officially five digits. <laughs>